All right, um, we just woke up. Uh, we're tired. I may or may not have a small case of altitude sickness, but um, yeah, we're gonna get fishing. Welcome to another episode of Hardman Fishing Adventures. Today, we are on the Eagle River, and right now we're on the Upper Eagle River, and we're gonna try to get a slam. We're gonna try to catch rainbow, a brown trout, and a brook trout. Um, it's funny because in West Virginia, where we normally fish for trout, um, the, there's not a whole lot of places where you can do that, especially not in one creek, and definitely not wild. So, our attempt here is to catch all three species, not necessarily one person, each one of us, me, Dallas, and Andrew. I think Dallas is down there further. We each can catch combined three species of trout. So that's our goal for today. Um, we're gonna move up. I have no idea, I've never fished the eagle in my entire life. Right here, the river looks pretty fast. Um, I'm gonna start with a dry dropper. Andrew's throwing a laser legal. I don't know what Dallas is throwing because he has been fishing for like five minutes while I got my crap together. So anyway, we're gonna fish this for a little bit, hopefully catch some fish. If we don't, then we'll cry. By the way, I'm sorry about my hair. Um, I haven't cut it since this whole pandemic started. So it's been since like March, I haven't cut my hair. And we're on day two without a shower at this point because we're camping and a lot of these campsites don't have showers, but we're making do, we're gonna survive. So anyway, I'm gonna get fishing. Hopefully catch, we'll catch a slam. If not, we'll just cry about it. So yeah, let's get going. All right guys, first cast of the eagle. Let's get it. Haha. <laughs> Took a little bit, but I got it. Looks like a brown, I believe. One species knock it off. Yeah, it's a pretty little brown. I don't have the net, guys, because Andrew has it, and we lost the last net in the last spot. What are the odds that land this fish? Pretty good, I guess. Look, you guys. There it is, that's a size 14 pheasant tail. It's barbless and as you can see, I barely hooked the thing, but there you go. First fish of the Eagle River, brown trout. Now we just gotta catch a rainbow and a brookie and we're good. So I'm gonna let this guy go. I'm not gonna get the camera out for him, it's not yet. Thanks buddy. All right guys, so when I'm fishing like a section like this, uh, this is a good example of a pretty decent hole. It looks like for this river, or at least up here, but I'm um, You've got one current stream that comes in real close. So I was working that, didn't catch anything in here. And then you've got like a middle seam that's kind of slack-ish water relatively. And that's actually where the brown was sitting, but he was sitting way back in the back end back here. And there's a big rock that I don't know if you guys can see. So what I'm doing is I'm working this seam or I work this current seam. Then I'm gonna work the middle, the slack all the way down. I worked it like twice before I caught that brown. And I'm gonna work all the way across, hit the far current and then I'm gonna hit that rock. So we still might get some more fish out of here, but I just wanted to go through my thought process at least a little bit when I'm fishing these uh, rivers because it really does take a smart approach because if you don't do it correctly, you'll spook more fish than you'll catch.
This is what we came to Colorado for, baby. <laughs> a brown trout. Little tiny, tiny guy. See you, friend. Got one. Oh. Finally, I had one swirl right there, too. Whoa. Finally. There we go. On the streamer. Oh, it popped right off. Take a good look at this guy. We'll get him back. This giant red spots on this guy. Absolutely stunning. Awesome. Just awesome. What I'm throwing right here is just a uh, small streamer. It's a laser legal. Great for brown trout that aren't giant. Or any other species. I'm also fishing for rainbows and brooks, so. And those can both eat this, so. John? John? Dallas? Dallas? Oh, you can't hear me. Hello? Popped off. Hello? All right, guys, this is the first uh, brown of this creek. Beautiful brown. He's energetic. Ooh. Any colors on him? Yeah, that's a gorgeous fish, man. Wow. All right, we're going to get a release on him and keep on fishing up. Yep. Alright guys, so this is my first fish in this creek. Um, I, ca I saw the fish and I cast it and it came up and ate the dry, so... But... This fish is not going to be nice. There he is guys. Such a gorgeous fish. Yes? Dry fly hit. Let's go, guys. I literally just, I had to sneak up behind this rock. I think that's the key. The, the key is that they're seeing us and spooking because the water's so clear. Oh, I can't stand up. I had brown number two and like literally the next hole. All right, guys. Looky here. Another gorgeous brown. So, I'm happy with that fish. I'm gonna go ahead and get a release right here. Nothing special. He went in there. The water is freaking cold, man. I stuck on a bunch of sh This is gonna be impossible for me to drift this correctly. Maybe this right side here. I just saw a fish come up and get it. Woo, 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 woo. Right in front of me. It looked, it refused it, but it might have been, I don't know what it's going after. See, there it is. It just went towards it again. It's looking at my nymphs. Right. Can't believe it let us get it this close. can't see it anymore. Oh yeah, I can. I just looked at it again. It's sitting way... Oh, 
Maybe that bug shouldn't just not have the water up there. Got him. Yep. That's not a brown, I don't think. Look at all the fish spooking. Yeah. Oh, don't drop off, please. Oh, oh, oh. We got a crowd, guys. We got a crowd. Hold on, I'll bring it up. Don't worry. You know how you know how many casts that took to get that fish? Oh wow, he's. All right, whatever. Just come over here. No, 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 no. There we go. God, that. Why is that so difficult? <laughs> Oh, it's a cut a pretty fish. Yeah. Man. Yeah, I told you they were looking at it. All right, guys, so rainbow trout. That's, a, that's literally my first rainbow trout of the trip. Like, I'm not even front. All right. So that's cool. I guess we're going to go ahead and get the release. So now all I have to do is catch a brook trout. So basically, we're fishing the Eagle River, and for whatever reason, it's so tough. So we basically left and we've come to a trib because we're just trying to catch some fish and the trib is on fire right now. Like we've caught a multitude of fish. We're literally sight casting them because the water's like ultra clear. It's kind of crazy. And we're seeing these fish and we're just setting up on them and catching them. Most of them are on the tungsten beadhead, uh, zebra midge size 20 or 22. A couple are on the dries, but it's just really fun fishing. So we're going to keep going. We're still trying to get the slam. I've caught a rainbow trout, which is actually the first rainbow trout I've caught in the trip. So we got rainbow brown. Hopefully we can catch a brookie here in a little bit and complete the slam. Rainbow? Yeah. It hit the dry and then yeah. he snagged it on the bottom. Well, now it's in the mound, top of the mound. That's weird. Oh. You get it out? Yeah. All right, guys, this is my first uh, rainbow the trip. Whoa. Oh, yeah, look at that, Rainbow Trout City. Beautiful. There you go. All right, let's get a release on him. Yep, sounds good. Big one, but so cool. Alright guys, this is the biggest brown of this creek so far and it just soaked me. And I was like cannot stand up. It came up and hit my dry and then he caught it on the screen. Least, I don't care. That will be All right, guys, so we've moved, we've moved spots once again, but um, 
It's starting to rain, so I think our brookie sand is gonna get cut a little short. Maybe not though. We're gonna fish up through here. Hopefully someone can just catch a dang brook trout. I don't know. We're gonna push it through, try to catch one for you guys. If not, just know that we did our best. And we slowly started to figure out the eagle and some of his tribs. Um, the fish are really spooky because the water is just overly clear. So you really have to sneak up on these fish and make very exact casts. Most of the casts have been um, the fish that we see feeding. So we're sight casting for these fish, which is something I'm not used to doing. So it's a nice change of pace for me personally. I enjoy it a lot. There's really nothing like it. Uh, sneaking up to a hole, seeing a brown feeding on dries, throw your dry in there. I mean, it just doesn't get any better. But anyway, we're gonna keep fishing. Hopefully catch a brook trout. Let's keep going. Where? No, don't do that. Walk in the water down there then. Well, don't do that. Got a big one. No. It came up and hit the dry and I missed the dry. Yeah. It came up and... Did you see it eat? No. I'm end up losing this fish. It snagged. It hit the dry and I missed the dry. You're just gonna get down in front of me. Yes, sir. That's why you get a good net man with you. That's a nice brown, dude. All right, guys, so we moved sections of the creek. We're trying to get a little higher, trying to catch some brook trout. We couldn't catch any brook trout, but at least not yet. But I came up and this brown hit the dry. That's probably my biggest brown in this creek so far. If I can pick them up, hold on, let's do this. One of the odds he actually sits nicely. There you go. It's not a bad fish. I'm happy with it. He's a cutie. So we'll get the release on this guy and then, um, yeah, keep moving up. Oh, that's a beautiful fish, man. Ooh, that's a pretty one. He does have both the hooks. Look how yellow his chin is. All right, guys, I wasn't recording, but I just caught this gorgeous brown trout. Probably one of the prettiest browns we've caught of the trip. Gorgeous little fish. Nothing special, but his colors make up for it, for sure. So, we'll go ahead and get the release on this fish and continue on. I caught that on a streamer, by the way. It's kind of been raining, as I said just a second ago, and Andrew nipped this whole hole, didn't catch anything. I came in with a streamer and caught two immediately. The first one I didn't record, because it wasn't very big, but. All right, we'll get a release on this guy and keep going for a little bit. This time of year in Colorado, uh, yellow sallies, green drakes, uh, around size like 16 to 18. High country, you can use something a little smaller. This is uh, size 18, and they're just really cute. 